The race for the next Secretary General. Reporting from the United Nations, I'm Frank Uciardo. Mogens Likitov, the President of the General Assembly, has been overseeing the process of electing the next Secretary General for several months now. And after two informal polls of the Security Council, Portugal's former Prime Minister, Antonio Guterres, seems to be in the lead. But Likitov is not satisfied with the Security Council proceedings. We have had, for the first time in UN history, uh, the uh, individual informal dialogues with the whole General Assembly, the, the hearings of the candidates. We, are, we have had a good opportunity to discuss the whole future of the United Nations uh, in, 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 a, in a more open discussion than we have in the most informal settings in the General Assembly. So that's new. So then it seems a little uh, awkward, a little uh, strange that the Security Council maintains this formal secrecy about their so-called straw polls. You, you actually, in your tweet, called it uh, indignant? or It wasn't dignified that what they were doing? Yeah, I think it's out, it's out of tune with the whole transparency of the process, which mm -hmm. has been also uh, accepted by the Security Council up till now. So, so I don't see any good reason. I mean, I mean it's, it's odd that, that uh, the only thing the President's Security Council can do with consensus in the Council about a straw poll is to phone me and say it took place, but I can't tell you the result. And after one hour, uh, the p media people will tell me what was the result. That's, that's a strange way of, of, of working together. I, is it too early to draw any conclusion from these two straw polls? I mean, I mean, is it? I mean, because one one candidate seemed to be leading. That can change because we are in uncharted waters. We have a process that's different from anything happened before. But still, also there is the possibility because there's no time limit here that uh, one or more candidates could come up. We don't know of, and it, uh, for certain, some of of the candidates will drop out. One has already dropped out. Uh, you know, who, who is that? Vesna Pusic from Croatia. Okay, yeah, because uh, we had 12 candidates, we had so I was going to ask you about Now we that. have 11 uh, at the moment, yeah. There have been some big town hall debates among the candidates that were even televised from the General Assembly Hall. But has it helped? And can members of civil society believe they can influence the election? Yes, I think the whole open discussion process from the uh, hearings of each and every candidate uh, to the town hall meeting we had with 10 of them uh, in, in the General Assembly Hall uh, early July, that is for sure influencing uh, positions of a number of countries. Experts say this is the first bottom-up process in the UN with something like 8 million people around the world getting involved through social media and other means. Do you think the Security Council is paying attention to that? Are they taking that seriously? I'm, I'm sure they are paying attention. There will, n there will never be a very, and only very closed process in the Security Council uh, in selecting the Secretary General again. But who will have the last word remains a question for members of the Security Council who, like KG poker players, are keeping their cards to themselves for now. UN Update, reporting from the United Nations, I'm Frank Uciardo, Arise News.